there is one main difference between profitable and non-profitable Google Ads campaigns. And it has nothing to do with what bidding strategy you're running on your search campaigns or whether you're running a shopping or a performance max campaign. So before you press enable on your brand new Google Ads campaign that is gonna completely transform your business and save your Google Ads account, you need to stop and you need to ask these three important questions of why, how, and what. Now, from all of the Google Ads campaigns that I've gone through and reviewed over the years, before I even see any of the results of that Google Ads campaign, I can tell whether that campaign is profitable or non-profitable just by looking at the structure of the account. And what I mean by that is that you'll generally see profitable Google Ads campaigns have a very, very clear structure. Whereas non-profitable Google Ads campaigns are just a mismatch of different types of campaigns and, and different strategies. And then if you go into the change history, you can see that they've turned on different campaigns and then turn them off, or they're changing around the bidding strategies. And it's very, very clear that they're just grasping at straws, trying to find out that secret strategy that is gonna transform their Google Ads results. And can I give you a really honest news flash? There are no secret strategies in Google Ads that are gonna give you amazing results that will really move the needle in terms of the success that you're seeing in the long term. Yes, you may see a little blimp and a little uplift in results for a couple of weeks or potentially even a couple of months, but for long-term sustained success with Google Ads, it's achieved through having a very, very clear, thought-out strategy and account structure and the way that you achieve that thought out strategy and structure is by first going through and asking, like I said, those three important questions of how, why, and what. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through those three questions so that you can also see long-term sustained success with your Google Ads campaigns. And just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And what I'm gonna be sharing with you right now in this video is a process that I've built and refined since managing my first Google Ads campaign back in 2010. And that first question, that first important question of why, it really comes back down to this core question of why are you actually running Google Ads? And the answer can't be just because my competitors are running Google Ads. What you really need to be thinking about is what does success look like for you? So why are you running Google Ads? Do you need more phone calls for your business? Do you need to generate more online sales for your e-commerce brand? Are you needing to get more inquiries or online quotes? Or do you want to increase brand awareness and let people know about a new business or a new product or service that is launching in a local area? Because the reality is, is that your answers to all of those different questions really define what your strategy will be for Google Ads. And so that we can continue with this video, what I wanna do right now is that if you follow that link in the description below, you can get access to my Google Ads starter kit. And what this involves is answering some different questions and then writing out your own campaign structure. And then on top of that, you're also gonna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklists so that once you've got your campaigns active, you actually have a really strategic plan on how to optimize your campaigns. So if you wanna get access to my Google Ads starter kit, just make sure you follow that link in the description below. And right now, let's jump back into the training in today's video. And to do that, we need to answer that next important question of how. Once we've answered the questions of why we are actually running Google Ads, we need to then answer how you will use Google Ads in order to get those extra phone calls or those extra sales or those extra inquiries. And the great thing about this is that this will look different for every type of business. Because once again, once you've actually thought about why you're running Google Ads, what you then need to do is you then need to create a plan on how this will work and how this will look for your own business. And let's jump into a screen share right now so I can give you some different examples on how this would look for different scenarios. So what I want you to take out of this is I'm just gonna show you some three different examples so that you can see how the way that you structure your Google Ads account will be very, very different for the results that you're wanting to achieve. So at this first structure, I'm gonna show you this would be for an e-commerce brand that is looking at selling more products. And with this one, what we would have is that we would have some different always on campaigns and different promotional campaigns. And what we'd wanna be achieving here with our always on campaigns, these are our profit building campaigns that are gonna be running three months from now, six months from now, you know, two years from now. 
now, they're always gonna be running because they're based around our core products. Versus our other type of campaigns, which are sales or promotional campaigns, which are seasonal campaigns that we are gonna be running. Once again, I don't want you to focus too much on whether we're using search, shopping, or performance max, because this is just an example of an account structure that we put together for an individual e-commerce brand. And what they had is that they had a really large inventory, so we were running some dynamic campaigns to different product categories and different sales pages. We then had different brand and competitor campaigns that were really focused on target impression share. And because this brand had a really large inventory, we started off with shopping campaigns based around their different product categories. And then what we would do is that when we got some high performing product categories, we would then move them into their own performance max campaigns with asset groups based around different categories. And then because they ran a lot of sales, they're running at least one sale a month. We had a different array of sales and promotional campaigns that were based around display and YouTube ads, which really backed up and reinforced these always on campaigns. And now what I wanna show you now is an example for a service-based business. Now, once again, this was a business that had different franchises. Now what I wanna show you through here is a campaign structure for a service-based business. Once again, this is just an example that we have done. This was a service-based business that had some seasonality in it. And what I mean by that is that they were an air conditioning installation company. So what they did need is they needed some campaigns that they could use for different seasons. So coming up into summer, they had some air conditioning promotional campaigns. And then coming into winter, they had some different heating options promotional campaigns. So that's why we separated out some of their services because they were only advertising some of their services for three or four months of the year. And then finally, I wanna give you an example for an account structure we put together for a brand that was just really, really looking at increasing their brand awareness. So they had some strong competitors in the market. So what they did is they had a search campaign based around targeting impression share. We then also added in some display campaigns targeting affinity based audiences. And then they had a collection of three different YouTube campaigns where they had one which was targeting niche related channels, another one was targeting on some top influencers, and then they just had a general outreach campaign. Now what I wanna stress is that the reason that I showed you those different account structures is just to illustrate that you can have very, very different campaign structures in order to suit the business. So it's not just about copying a different account structure that you see online, it's all about first asking that really important question of why and really getting down to the heart of what the business or what you're wanting to see for your own business's Google Ads campaigns. Then you start to really place out what that will look like. And then once you've got that, that brings us to the third important question of how. And this is where you really start to get into the individual strategy of how this will look and how this will outwork in your Google Ads account. And then we come to that final step when we've gone through and answered the why, so why we're actually running Google Ads, and then gone through the how and actually planned out how we're gonna achieve that, it comes to that important third question of what. And when we come to these questions, it's all about what data do you need to look at and what optimizations do you need to complete? Because we've already gone through and we know why we're running Google Ads, and then we know how we're gonna do it because we've put our account structure in place. Now we're really looking at what do we need to focus on and what are the core data metrics that we need to really improve. And I wanna help you with this section because when you're starting out on a new Google Ads campaign, there is two core metrics that I really want you to focus on. And that is your click-through ratio and your conversion rates. Now, the reason for why I really want you to focus on these two metrics is because your click-through ratio is so important is because if you can create ads and campaigns that get more clicks, you'll be able to get a higher ad quality, which means that Google is more likely to show your ads as opposed to your competitors' ads. And the reason for that is because remember, Google only gets paid when someone clicks on your ads. So by really focusing in on your click-through ratio, you're giving Google an extra incentive to show your ads. And then obviously the reason for why your conversion rate is so important is because you're not running your ads just to give Google more money, you're running your ads so that you can get more sales and more revenue coming into your business. So when you first start on Google Ads, I don't want you to worry about target ROAS or target CPA goals. I just want you to focus on your click-through ratio and your conversion rates. And that's why if you follow that link in the description below, you can get access to my Google Ads Starter Kit. Plus, because this is such a big topic, what I want you to do right now is I want you to go through and watch this video right here, which takes you through what to focus on in your new Google Ads campaigns. Once again, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here and I look forward to seeing you in this video right now.